Yeah, good morning. First of all, I want to thank you for giving me an opportunity to having a talk here. And second, uh, also thanks according to the first uh, presentation, now I got a name for what I'm doing. Retrospective photogrammetry is a good name, I like it very much. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> so what I want to talk uh, today about is uh, reconstruction uh, of, of excavations based on photogrammetry on, on 1980s photos. So um, let's first see um, the framework of our campaign. So um, I was um, employed in CRC 806. We were searching for um, the early human uh, migration from Africa during the um, MIS 422 and working in, um, in Albania in some caves. And um, the caves I'm talking about today is in the, um, in the northern part where you see the star there. Uh, up in Albania, there was a rash of caves in a karstic system um, bearing some um, early modern human upper paleolithic material, but also in these caves uh, were some Neolithic and Bronze Age material. And also, these caves are um, till today the reference site for Neolithic and, and Bronze Age in Albania. So, um, what we do as a good archaeologist, we didn't dig out all the Neolithic and, and Bronze Age stuff, we are uh, focusing on, on every archaeological material. And in one cave, in the Nazir cave, the, the, the northernmost cave, you see here the, the, the plan on the, on the right side, um, there we didn't find Upper Paleolithic. What, what we find was a profile from the 70s to 80s uh, with a four meter layer um, of burnt material from Neolithic to Bronze Age time. Um, so we are thinking about sampling this with, with radiocarbon dating um, and also making photogrammetry out of it to, to have a good representation of these old profiles. Um, afterwards, um, some of the guys in Tirana uh, searched an archive for some more material uh, for our work and found for the Nizir cave um, some more um, figures, drawn plans and photographs. So, um, what you see, what our main problem was, or, or the main problem of the archaeologists in, in Tirana was, um, they have thousands of shirts from the excavations from the 1980s, uh, and they have some shirts from our excavations now, because we uh, renew the profiles and also dig some new profiles inside the cave. And so, the main question for them was how to connect all this pottery from the old times to this, and especially with the radiocarbon dating we have, we have done there. So um, let us first see uh, what type of material we have there. So uh, what we got from the Zier cave is uh, 14 drawn profiles, um, 25 situation photographs, and um, as one of the speakers this morning said, yeah, it is awful to have all these people standing around, buckets and, and all this stuff you have to cut out. Um, we have a reference map um, and three cross sections drawn um, in this archive and 16 plain view profile photos um, of a single square. There were 17 square dig, I think, um, and from one square we got some photos left. So it was just by, by accident that I thought um, maybe it would be a good idea to try um, it with, with Agisoft Photoscan to see what we got there. Um, but first, to see what, what our data was uh, when we were working there. So, uh, the, the profile I mentioned before, this four meter layer of um, uh, stratigraphy with uh, burnt ashes. Um, so this was the recording on 2015 from our photogrammetry uh, from this profile. Um, and on the counterpart of this profile, there was also existing some profile from the 1981 uh, campaign. So this would be one point of refitting the profiles and, and cross sections. Um, and the other point was the photos from this single square I mentioned before. So um, this is um, the result of um, the photogrammetry of this uh, 16 plain photos. So you see there's, there's some parts missing uh, in the down part. What, what we also can see, we have a good profile and we can also see the layers here in the, in the, in the model. So um, combining, um, then th the idea came up to combine this 1980 and 2015 uh, data from our campaigns. 
So first of all, uh, we were sorting all the plants and materials we got from the archive in Tirana. And to give you an overview of the, of the cave, we tried to uh, make this model with, with SketchUp just to, to see where the, the profiles and sections are. Um, and in the upper side, you see this, this drawn cross sections uh, in the cave. And uh, the right one where the, uh, the mouse is now, this is um, the square where I've got the photos from. So we actually got the idea we can now compare um, this drawn layers uh, with the photograph layers and also now doing, um, uh, by the way, on the left side, this is the counterpart of the profile you see before, which we've taken in, in 2015 campaign. So um, what we are trying now, this was made with Clark Compare. This was a um, 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 point cloud made of a total station measurement. We measured 2,700 points with total station because we also wanted to map um, the cave. And um, what you see, um, it's overblending there. It's um, every time the, the, the combined data of a photogrammetry cloud point cloud um, from data from 1980s and also combined with 2015. So it was we were able to, to combine 1980 photos in one set of um, in in, um, uh, in Agisoft uh, with the 2015 data. And if you tried it, you know that it's kind of hard to combine uh, old photos with, with new ones. <clears throat> so, of course, we have got some referencing issues. So, um, we got this profile drawn and we see that we don't have the, the actual level of the cave where, we, where, the, where the profiles were, were in. But uh, luckily, on the pictures from this one section, um, we got um, some parts of the ceiling in the picture and got also um, some parts of the, um, of the caves inside. Um, so we were able to reference by some characteristic points of the cave um, the old data with the new data one, so with our photogrammic um, point of view. But um, it was not the plan to make photogrammic, photogrammetry actions like this in this plan, so we didn't uh, record the whole cave. So the new photogrammetry we did was also from situation photos from our campaign, so the same situation uh, people standing around, also only one angle of view just from uh, the front side of the cave. So, but um, till some months we are now able to locate um, what you see there now is the, is the one section. We can locate now it, the exact position um, of the old uh, section with photogrammetry uh, and also can combine it um, with the model from 1980 and 2015 cloud point. Um, to be honest, uh, it's not the accuracy that we are normally doing. So right now we are up to 20 centimeters accuracy in combining all these models together. We're working on this, but um, maybe we can we can get some more. So to summarize this this point up, we have this total station points from our campaigns. Um, we have the photogrammetry from random photos from our campaigns. Um, and we have this uh, west and east side profile we recorded with photogrammetry uh, in our things. So there's the one part of accuracy um, from, from our data concerning it. And on the other side, on 1980s, we have these archival maps and drawn profiles, uh, which we didn't exactly know which accuracy they have. They look good, but at some point you see some, some errors and mistake. Of course, everyone does it in, in drawing uh, profiles. Um, and then we have the mixture of random and uh, profile pictures. And all together we have now this representation and accuracy of the model, which we are asking for, um, is it accurate enough to, to, to present it or is it accurate enough to, to compare the layers and the uh, pottery coming out of it. So what we try to do now um, is a fine adjustment uh, of the referencing process uh, as I told you, cold leads about 20 centimeters now. Um, and in April this year, we are starting to combine the layer information from the profiles and 3D models and sorting the pottery from the 1979 to 1985 campaigns with the pottery from our campaigns. So 
as I said um, in the beginning, the main question for the archaeologists in Tirana was, can we combine this pottery from these different campaigns? And I think we can say, yes, we can uh, combine it. So the main questions for them uh, right now is solved. So for the first thing, uh, I'd like to thank you for your attention and uh, please don't hesitate to discuss the model. <laughs> and of course, uh, I'd like to thank you, uh, thank the, the archaeologists in Tirana and the team of the B1 field project of the CSC 806. Thank you very much. Thank you.